Hey guys, welcome to Protocoders Point. Okay, so this is the 10th part of our tutorial on creating S3 bucket like service by making use of Node.js. Okay, so in this part, we are going to create an API that will have an ability to download a file from a folder. Okay, so user need to just specify a folder name, a file name that he want to download and the data will get downloaded from that folder. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so in our previous tutorial, we have created an API, uh, APIs through which a user will be able to create a folder that is a bucket, get all the folders that the user has created and upload any files to a particular folder and get the list of files from a particular folder. Okay, so you can see over here. So we have created this APIs in our uh, folders in our previous tutorial. Okay, so we have also uploaded our files to this particular folder by making use of this API. Okay, so in this tutorial, we are going to create an API that uh, will help us in downloading a file from this folder. Okay, so let's create it. So here route, so we will keep it as get method as we are going to download a file. So we can make use of post method also. Okay, so we just name it as download file. Okay, so what I will do is I will just accept parameters in this API route itself. So we can do it something like this. Okay, so first of all, we must uh, accept parameters from the user that is from which folder he want to download a file. For example, he can just give it a folder name over here. Okay, and the file name that he want to download. Okay, and now let's create a request response function over here. Okay, so this is the API and these are the parameters that the user wants to download the file. From this folder, the user want to download this file. Okay, so here const request dot params. Okay, so here we will just do it like folder name and file name. Okay, so we are going to send it from here. Okay. Okay, so now over here, let's concat this file and create a variable for this file path. Okay, so const file path. Okay, so the file path will be our root directory, root folder. Okay, and then folder name and then file name. Okay, so here in this file path variable, we will have root directory path of the folder or the file that the user is willing to download. For example, root folder, folder name and the file name. For example, you can see root folder, fold subfolder one and the file name is this one, this number and the PNG file. Okay, so now here we must uh, include a, or attach a header, set header to our browser so that the browser will understand that the user is uh, giving in response a particular file and that the browser need to download okay so response dot set header okay so over here uh, content attachment and the file name okay and now over here const file stream is equal to fs dot create read stream okay so this is the function that comes with the fx library to download or read any file or any incoming file Okay, so here we must uh, send our path, file path. Okay, and now finally we must uh, make use of fs uh, file stream dot pipe, and here we must send the response. So this is the response we are going to send it over here. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so let's run it and let's check if this is working or no. Okay, so here this is the file okay so let's go to a postman okay so i'll just paste it over here so localhost 3000 okay so localhost 3000 this is api uh, name the folder name we need to pass it over here okay so we can get it from here so i want to download this file from subfolder one okay okay so let me take this file name Okay, so let me copy this. Okay, so file name, I will just paste it over here like this. And folder name is subfolder 1. Okay, so let's check if this uh, postman can handle downloading or no. I don't know if it, it if it works or no. Okay, so let's check. Okay, so you can see I, 
I have downloaded this file in this postman body. Okay, so let's check this in the browser. Let me copy this URL and paste it over here. So now if I enter, you can see the file is getting downloaded by this browser. Okay, so let's check some other file. Okay, so I can just take this PDF file. Okay, I will just copy this path. Okay, so I will just paste it over here and the folder is folder 3, so folder 3. Enter, so you can see the PDF is getting downloaded. Okay, so that's all for this video tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe protocol point. Thank you.